the, the transmission went, so I had to have that rebuilt. But um, I gave it a go. I think we got as far as that was. Hi, I'm Judy, and this is my 34 Ford Coupe. from a small town so we had a, um, a custom car club but there's probably only about 30 40 members we actually came um, over to Australia for work so it took us a little while to get back into the car scene and um, the car so it's a, a 34 um, it's got a Hemi a 392 running on that uh, it's a turbo 700 it's got the overdrive in it so that's why it's a great highway cruiser yeah she just goes i bought it the only thing i've done to it is the motor and transmission so yeah that's that's exactly how i got it i bought it from um someone from marsh rodders and he actually bought it from the people who built it up in brisbane oh, I, he did tell me that the guy who built it was actually a race car driver i couldn't tell you what he raced or where he raced but um yeah apparently he was into race cars so. yeah. Done. I've had that all painted. Um, I paint stripped all the rocket covers and, and done a bit on it myself. Um, but then I outsourced getting the motor and stuff done. Um, then I had the transmission rebuilt. So yeah, it's running great. <laughs> Norm's helped a little bit. Um, I take my car to a guy called Mario, and he's been fantastic. He's helped put it all back together for me, tuned it up, got it running great. Look, I, I love taking my cars out. I, I go to car shows or coffee meets every weekend, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um, there's so much out there. The great thing about Melbourne is, and I don't mind travelling, I'm happy to hop in the car, drive an hour, an hour and a half to go somewhere. So I don't just stick to the local coffee meets. Yeah, if there's something on, like I, I love going up to Bright, I like going down to Queenscliff, um, up to Castle Main. So um, I had a go at going up to Sydney, so I was even prepared to drive it up to there. <laughs> the, the transmission went, so I had to have that rebuilt. But um, I gave it a go, I think we got as far as about yes, and then she ended up on a trailer. But um, I'll have another go next year, yeah, for the, I think it's the Rod and Custom show in Sydney. So yeah, I'm happy to have another go, <laughs> not defeated. <laughs> most weekends either the rod or the buick um the rod's a fun car to drive yeah yeah that's good fun to drive it it sort of goes anywhere um yeah good highway car so i've had um the buick for about 11 years um i bought it it was unrestored when i got it i brought that from brisbane went up there and got that the paint had all the, that crocodile sort of through it so it needed stripping back and and repainting redoing so yeah, I paint stripped it back with a, a couple of friends and had more friends help pull off all the chrome and, and pull it apart. I drive my cars all the time, like all the time. Um, so I wanted a hard top, <laughs> that, that was the main thing. Um, originally I wanted a fully fended car, but then when I saw the high boy, um, yeah, it was just something about it that I liked. Yeah. And then um, once I knew it was a Hemi, and Hemi's a, <laughs> sort of a bit of a rotter's motor, um, yeah, that was an attraction as well. It, it wasn't a standard motor, it's something that's just a, a little bit different. So, yeah. It, it's a driver, it's never going to be an elite show car. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy with it the way that it is.
all things classic. Um, it's just a social um, car page. I just post a lot of events and, and things that are going on. People send me a lot of um, coffee meets and I'm happy to share them out there and I try and get to them as many as I can. Um, I'm more than happy for people to share their photos and events and, and things as well. So it's, it's not just about me, it's about everyone who attends those events. Yeah.